as we say right here, what do we have? Hand down, man down. There has to be a penalty for reaching. You should never be able to just reach with impunity and be like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to hit that. I'm going to hit that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to be able to. Not only am I going to be able to uh, be able to lock him up and play defense, but I'm also. I'm, I, mean, <laughs> I should be able to lock him up and play defense and reach as much as I want to and still get to be, get be in the play even when he even when he really. Wrong when I pencil him. Phone steady jumping, screaming calls like I'm peeping. Bricks got everybody tapping in, but you've been kept it solid. When you look me in the eyes, subtle tell I know you got it. When you do the sauce, make me want it a la carte. Caught me looking at it like the bullseye of the target. Though. Good morning! Man, check this out, man. As always, full disclosure, y'all boys have been going absolutely ham on the like button and all that. 664 likes got us almost 10,000 views, man. I think we can hit 10,000 views today, man. Let's try to shoot for like 800 likes. In order to do that, we got to get two to 300 likes in the first 1,500 views to get into that YouTube algorithm. And y'all know we're trying to go with this thing. To the moon, Alice! Y'all know it, man. Hey, jump shot yesterday, like I said, you see how this growing over time? It's got legs, it's moving. And then, hey, the last couple of videos, 6.7 and 13, man, y'all, boy, man, I'm telling y'all, boy, y'all showing y'all absolute hind parts, man. And as such, y'all showing that, I gotta show this, man, the Nodi Gang Wall of Fame. Anybody come through and say, hey, man, look, man, say, man, say, oh, bro, say it with me. Trades up! Splash down. Y'all know what that is, man. Hey, let's get it, Nodi Gang, right there. Hey, hey, listen, man. <clears throat> sensational we had a great video yesterday man i say the game has great potential with a couple of fixes uh with inconsistencies this could be one of the best 2ks ever man and the crazy thing about it is we felt like this was probably the best 2k to ever come out before they did what they did with that that day one monday patch everybody was loving the game everybody was shooting well and then all of a sudden they did that change and then no you know everybody just started shooting straight in the tube I, I don't get it man i don't know why they do stuff like that top comment from yesterday hey this game has great potential oh yeah that's what it was it's great has great potential with a couple of fixes with the inconsistency so we did talk about that and say if they give you a bad grade for stealing like they do other things like bad block and bad call for ball that'll fix steals i think another thing that'll probably fix steals as well well, would be um if they would do like they do uh like uh like uh when you reach and you're out of the play um you reach you out of the play right but also if they just take 70 percent of your reachability from you once you reach one time i think that would help uh help it a lot man and i think a lot of people wouldn't even do it so much this just need to be a bigger penalty for doing it if they would have done the 40 40 70 99 or whatever they said they was gonna do i think that would have uh, been a lot because a lot of people rarely get it the first time i get it the first time because i only like to reach one time but a lot of people just spam reaching like we're gonna talk about later on but anyway if y'all know what i know if y'all are here make sure y'all hit the like button uh let's let's get this thing to 300 likes before we get to two uh 2 000 views and with all that out of the way yes sir what's going on everybody it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's town coming to you live with another video man check this out man hey we got we got the uh the top 10 report here real quick man you know we're gonna try to do this top 10 report real fast y'all know y'all know we gotta do everything that we do with flair so let's get right into it i don't know how to, how well this is gonna work because i don't know if i can read it but look i got my trusty dusty joint right here hey so we got up at the top we got uh random wizard number one cash out number two the original malik number three Key Sticks is number four. Number five is, uh, I can't read the name. Who is that? 10 GFG. Swag Returns, number six. Number seven. Nay, TMB, number seven. Number eight is, uh, We GFG? Will GFG. Enzo Nasty, number nine. And then number 10 is the Demonize, Demonize on Twitch, man. We got a new camera up here, man, so we trying to really test this stuff out and see how we can incorporate it more. I know I'm looking like Kenny Smith, but I'm old, I got old eyes, so I couldn't see that as well as I felt like I should have been able to. Just cut me a break, give me some slack, man. Up next, hey, we got that boy Lego fan talking about the Sabonis, the Sabonis, bro. He said, bro, this Sabonis joint is gonna uh, pretty much take everybody by storm, man. Look at this, the Sabonis layup style buckets. What are you, bro, what are you doing? What is this, this flotation device? It's like, what is this? Like, what, what is going up? Flotation device. Why are you able to float it from that far out there? Is this legal? Is that, I don't think, I mean, I don't think it's gonna be nothing to be, be really, cause like with them floaters and stuff, man, even though the game is very, very, very balanced um, around the mid range or what have you, 
like i don't think it's ever gonna really be broken because it's a two and the only thing that can really be really super broken on this game is spamming threes because you can play defense on twos much easier than threes so i'm cool with something like that it's not a big deal and you know that this window's gonna shrink tremendously if somebody's there up next we got wolf says you and it directly correlating with what laker fans just showed us most of you probably already know this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Incorp incorporate the mid-range into your game. He said, not even kidding, I got about uh, I got about five or six different Hall of Fame midi bills, man. Listen, uh, me and Brute was talking about that the other day, man. The mid-range this year is wide open. You can make so many plays in the mid-range, even though the game is... Uh, it's like they adjusted the size of the players a little, adjusted the size of the court. Somehow, the court seems smaller because of the players or what have you but at the same time it seems bigger because you can really score in that mid-range and abuse the mid-range if you know what you're doing now like i said the difference is it's a two and not a three so nobody's really gonna complain about it but i think that that's something that everybody should have in their guy in their teammates game and uh exploit it to you know not exploit it in a bad way but exploit it as much as you possibly can up next my boy man man grind the fuck hard says hey god send me some no lifes that can really hoop every time i'm ready to hoop I said, I volunteer as tribute. Hey, listen, man. Hey, me and man, man, go have some great streams this weekend, man. That's my dude. That's my dog. Y'all already know what time it is, man. So, so we always have a great time, and y'all have a great time watching us. So that's how we gonna rock with it, man. Up next, we got that boy Keystick says I hit four thousand games. Uh, you know, uh, play and geez, uh, with a ninety-two win, sixty-four from three. I ain't gonna lie, bro. He be playing the ones. This is the ones king right here. Crown that man. I say it again, crown that man. That dude right there is the one's king, man. So, yeah, it, it, it is what it is. Up next, we got my boy, TJ. He said, I don't care if I lose, but I do care how I lose. And this was a, and this is sad. I'm on a 15-game streak, man. Let's just watch this clip right here, man. We're not going to listen to him because it is some, some language here. But check it out. Check out what happens. Hey, listen, he goes in there. And then a lot of people always talk about people don't pass or whatever, right? Look, bro, that's bad. Bang, Trey Ball. Yeah, hey, 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 let's start that back over before he. Hold on right here. All right, here we go. So look, he kicks it to the corner. Wide open shot, break that thing. Come back over here. He's wide open. Trey Ball, yeah, Trey's up. Splash that. <laughs> and he is absolutely beside right now man i ain't gonna lie to y'all man like if you see exactly how it happened look check out how it unfolded you you give your person the ball bro he's wide open in the corner right here he's got nothing but time he even caught the ball and was able to put it away to make sure that he takes a really good shot and he doesn't get the sped up animation and guess what happens when he does that hey as Brute would say, trays up, break down, bro. I ain't a lot of you, man. I might be a little bit upset about that too. And then he just kicked it right to the corner. And then uh, that's a tray ball. That's probably an open. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. Everybody on the court had take. Uh, you can't make a mistake like that, man. You gotta hit, you gotta knock that shot down. But at the same time, we know that 2K made him miss that shot man it is what it is up next hey we got that boy uh og grandmaster sensei saying hey we back up and this is this is how it goes man check it out this is uh this is kind of crazy man um the reaching got to stop okay that's one reach that's that look i mean it's just going back and forth it's still in the ball but look though this is what this is the problem that i got with this whole thing bro look at what his bars did look he got one that's one he already reached once. That's two times on one possession. Bro, if they did what I said and and drop your ability to reach, you know, after your first time, then it wouldn't be it wouldn't be no big deal because a lot of times you're not even getting it the first time or whatever. And then people just do it. And then watch this. Let me get that. Now, all these guys, let me let me get that right bike. We don't know what these guys' ball handling is and stuff like that. But just, just to see it exchange like that is is absolutely insane. But to have the confidence to go like yeah this is bad basketball i'm not gonna say that man maybe all of them steals deserve to happen bro i don't know i don't know <laughs> that's it that's just insane that boy mike wong he wanted to ask y'all this man what shot timing visual cue do you guys use man and we're gonna go right over here talk about it now i'm gonna tell you 
what I use. So he asked, what is the, uh, so we got set, um, what's it, jump, set point, push, release. Now it looks like the overwhelming majority of everybody that plays the game uses push. I think a lot of people use push because it's much easier to use push because you can actually see the shot like pushes when you're shooting and then when it's when you're getting ready. So this is jump is just when you're going up. Set point is right here above the head. Push is when he's getting ready to to push it and then release is right when he's getting ready to let it go. So a lot of times I think people use push because when you use push what actually happens is you get more time to see the ball get you know after the set point. So it's really like right after the set point. It's not that much of a di difference as far as the timing, but it gives you time to see those super quick jump shots that, that nobody likes, but you can adjust to them. You can do something. Uh, you can do something about it, man. Up next, we got that boy Dime Works saying, "Is this should this be open?" Now I'm gonna tell y'all what I think, but we are gonna watch the clip first together, and y'all let me know what y'all think. Should it be open or should this not be open? So he comes in here, inbounds the ball, hits him with a move, reach. He pulls, and it says, "Bang!" Open. I. I think that that should be open, and I'm going to tell you why I feel like it should be open. Because a lot of times, what people do, they want, they're not playing defense, they want to play reach fence. And as we say, right here, what do we have? Hand down, man down. There has to be a penalty for reaching. You should never be able to just reach with impunity and be like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna hit that, I'm gonna hit that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna be able to, not only am I gonna be able to uh, be able to lock him up and play defense, but I'm also, I'm, I, mean, <laughs> I should be able to lock him up and play defense and reach as much as I want to and still get to be, get be in the play even when he even when he really just made a good move and shit on me and made, and made me do all that. Shut the f up. Shut the f up, bro. It's already hard enough. Like, like it, look. This is not good defense. I don't care what nobody says. You're right here. Yeah, it seems like you're right there, but you're not in the play because you reach. And because you elected to reach to go for the home run, you're not going to be rewarded with standing there. Now, if you're standing here and you're running to him or something like that, yeah, maybe there should be uh, a contest. But after you reach, I ain't got no sympathy for you because that's all y'all do is run around and then reach, 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 and reach some more, man. So, hey, it is what it is. Hey, that boy Laker fan says, hey, those those make your own bills. The, make the bill the, the way that you want to comments are laughable. So, if a dude hop on the game and uh and has no playing experience and he makes the bill that he thinks is good, how's, uh, how's he to know that the, what attributes work and which ones don't work uh you know it, it, it's bs or what have you and i absolutely agree with him because uh this right here came out yesterday and yeah we, we're actually confused and utterly befuddled at what's going on he said down work says this is actually insane mfs in the office don't even know what the world is going on uh, i don't even think mike mike <laughs> mike wong knows what's going on at this point um let me see, he's like 300 MLs working on the game and none of them talk to each other about what's going on. And so really what, what's going on is we got this, uh, this was 923 and Demi says, just FYI, vert only goes, vert should only go as high as the animations that you want to get. Does not affect rebounding at all. You're welcome. And, and like we said, bro, listen, when I saw this tweet, I was just like, yeah, whatever. Uh, like that dude on Pinky, Pinky, um, what pinky what what a panky panky you know what i'm saying we were driving here's like hey baby you hitting them corners a little too goddamn hard and you know what i'm saying and then what he said yeah whatever motherfucker. hey that's how i felt because i know that i've had i played with big mac and we've had similar rebounding in years years uh past and thus he would get more rebounds than me because he had always had 80 uh 80 vert and i would always have like 60 vert because you know i don't i didn't put it on my bill so i needed so i knew that this was not true and then so yesterday uh, and then another thing he said, and another note, speed is tied to your lateral quickness. Uh, speed is tied to your lateral quickness this year. The reason for implementing the setup is to prevent larger locks from moving laterally as quickly as smaller ones, uh, uh, you know, if they got 90 speed or whatever. And then yesterday, uh, yeah, we, let's, let's just go. We're going to move to the actual tweet because, uh, you know, like they put this up there. That's what they put up there. That's what's closer. And then, so then he came back and said yesterday, a couple of things I want to put out there. So yes, 
Uh, Vert will help you on your rebounding. Yeah, we already knew that. that. That wasn't even a big deal. We we already knew that. And also, the ability to move laterally on defense does come from lateral quickness. However, there's animation. There's uh, there's an animation issue I'm hearing 2K is fixing uh, that can make it seem as though lateral quickness doesn't matter. Speed is not tied to your ability to move laterally. And that's what we saying, man. Like, like we just got to know what this stuff is, man. And then, hey, uh, what was Cozy Grandmaster Sensei said, what the world? Dude's just tweeting. The speed thing apparently right, though. But, uh, but this was told after being proven. And these are the things that we're talking about, man. We are the uh, beta testers for this game, it seems like. And it's just like, no matter what happens, we are the ones that have to uh, have to figure it out. And he says, Vert has always been necessary for the sky rebounds. Exactly, because sometimes Mac would go up there and do the super sky one. And I, you know, I'm sitting here doing the, the baby one. Oh, I boxed the guy out or something like that because I didn't have Vert. But yeah, Vert always been necessary. And he said, well, the lateral quickness would make uh, no sense. There's no stat. Uh, just that and he said uncle fed bro y'all boys gotta stop that man uncle Vimmy is not with the feds man but hey he, hey listen he just had some bad information a lot of times just like with the respect and whatever where when ronnie was talking about the respect that was probably something that's in the game a lot of times these guys they have to talk about the game they have their privy information before the game comes out so sometimes they talk about the game the way that the game is at that point in time and then before lunch or prior to lunch they so they have to put this stuff out before lunch and then if they change it then they have to come back and retract the statement or make it seem as though like you know i'm just updating this or what have you and i think that's what he's doing right here but uh, i'm just gonna be honest with y'all who believed that I, I didn't believe that listen i'm gonna have speed and lateral quickness on my build okay because t t got 85 or nino got 91 lateral quickness and he got like 80 speed or 75 speed and i have 90 95 lateral quickness and he got and i got 85 speed and he moves just as uh fast in the power slide and can stay in front of people just like i can t can do it too so i already knew that that wasn't it listen i'm gonna always go with speed and lateral quickness and acceleration that's what i'm gonna do if you're making a bill i will hope that you do the same you don't have to I, hey i'm cool with it but i need my fast feet i need my uh my clamps and i need my extra bumpy on hall of fame so it is what it is man y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man should they be telling us this stuff before things happen or or, or should they do a better job explaining it or should they uh should, or we just have to be smarter than what they think we th they think that we are and just figure it out ourselves and just go just do what we always do y'all give us the game we'll figure it out and we'll go from there let me know what you think down in the comment section i will holler at y'all next time till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's channel Guys, please.